northern Adelaide plains visiting Nick Famia to cook with some of his fresh mushrooms from his family owned mushroom farm. SA Mushroom started back in 1998, coming from a fruit and vegetable background in Greengrocer. My dad's been a Greengrocer for 50 years, and we just wanted to diversify a little bit from that industry, but stay in fruit and vegetables. So my brother and I own a business together. Uh, my dad's also here, 76 years old and going strong. We, we're pretty much a family business. So here at SA Mushrooms, we're growing predominantly the white mushrooms, which are small button white mushrooms, and the field mushrooms. We also grow the portobello and the Swiss brown mushrooms. The secret to growing good quality mushrooms is attention to detail. The presentation of the mushroom has to be perfect. Our hands have to be clean when we're picking the mushroom. Vacuum cooling of the mushroom within 20 minutes of picking is, is crucial for shelf life once it hits your local greengrocer or supermarket. What we do, because we're growing one of the healthiest products you can possibly eat, there's no downside to it. And we've been allowed to, to grow and, uh, and nurture this product for so many years now, and we, we definitely want to keep doing it. Wow. Swiss Swiss brown mushrooms. Swiss brown and portobellos, yeah. This is a dream for me. I love this. You know, it's it's kind of humid in here. Would yeah, it's you would about you describe 85% that? humidity. Right. So when the humidity drops, we humidify the air. Yes. And when it's too high, we dehumidify the air. Okay. So what is the difference between a Swiss brown mushroom and a portobello mushroom? Because for me they look the same. Yep, so we have a portobello is a nice open mushroom, okay. and that's just a Swiss brown. So which are in effectively the same mushroom. So it's just the science thing? Same thing, these, these are four days older. So the recipe I want to do, which is mushroom a la grec, I think that these Swiss brown mushrooms will work so much better because it won't stain the sauce. Yeah, we have a few spare for you today. Oh, Nick, you're funny. <laughs> I think you've got many mushrooms. So I'll take some of these ones and I'll also take um, a few of the bun mushrooms work well. Yeah, sure. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> such a treat for me to see mushrooms literally grow in front of my eyes. These are button mushrooms behind me and look, you just don't get fresher than this. They're so crisp and white. I really want to pay respect to these mushrooms. So I'm going to do a very simple dish where I'm not overcooking the mushrooms, only partially cooking them. This recipe is called mushrooms a la grec. Now mushrooms a la grec is just marinated mushrooms in vinegar and then lightly cooked in olive oil. So they're going to be semi-cooked, so slightly crunchy, which is how I like them. And I'm going to serve them as a salad. When you're choosing your mushrooms, you're looking for firm mushrooms that are not too spongy. You can see that they're quite clean and tight at the base so none of that gill is exposed. That's for a small mushroom. So we're just going to cut them into small chunks like this. Okay, now I'm going to heat my pan. I want it to be quite hot at the start because I'm just going to seal them off in lots of olive oil. So I'm going to use half of the olive oil for the recipe now, which is about a few tablespoons. We're going to add our glorious SA mushrooms into the pan and then give them a toss just to coat them in the oil and we just want to get a bit of heat there and I'm going to turn the heat off now but work quite quickly so I'll add some sugar just some caster sugar and I'll deglaze with some vinegar I'm using red wine vinegar you could also use white wine vinegar or sherry vinegar and I'm adding about 70 millilitres of vinegar, so lots of vinegar, so use a good quality one. We want the piquancy from the vinegar. It is a marinated mushroom after all. So give them a stir. And you can see how the mushrooms have held their shape and they still almost look raw. That is what I'm looking for. Now we'll add a few seasonings. So some coriander seeds that I've toasted and lightly crushed. And now some French shallots. So I've just finely chopped these French shallots, about two of them, and we'll add them. French shallots have a mild sweet flavour, so I don't want to cook them either because I do want that crunch for them. All right, let's just give this a quick toss. I'll grab a wooden spoon and just give that a stir also. Wow, that smells so good. I love this dish. Finally, I'll add some bay leaf, two fresh bay leaves or one dried bay leaf and some extra virgin olive oil. So we did add olive oil at the beginning, but now we've turned it off the heat. I really want to taste the grassy notes of the olive oil. So we're going to add 
a generous amount, I'd say about a quarter of a tablespoon. Now they're ready but I will allow them to cool because I want to serve this at room temperature. If you like, you can do this ahead of time, they'll last for a week in the fridge in an airtight container. Okay, these mushrooms have cooled down and I've just peeled some radicchio. These leaves have a real bitter flavour and it's going to go nicely with these mushrooms. I've also used just the centre of them because they're extra crispy. Now to plate up, we'll get these lovely mushrooms, drain them from the oil and just spread them on the plate. Just really organically let them drop. I'm trying to pick up some of those French shallots and those coriander seeds that are just delicious with these mushrooms. Great. Now for the radicchio, we're just going to tear it and just let it drop over the top. Looks great, that pop of purple against the mushrooms. And then some parmesan. Parmesan is a great flavour with mushrooms. You could also use goat's cheese and what I'm going to do is just grate that over the top just with a speed peeler like this. Then with your hands, break it up so it just drops onto the plate. Finally, some croutons. I've cheated here. I have these croutons that you can get from any of your supermarkets. I like them with this dish because they're really crunchy. So I'm just gonna break them over the top. And you wanna leave them to the very last minute before you serve these, because you don't want them to go soggy. We want that texture on this dish. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. The last thing I might add is some freshly cracked pepper. And that, my friends, is, well, I think that looks like a work of art. I hope Nick will think so too. I'm gonna to take this over to him and his family and they can tell me what they think of the dish. All right, okay. mushrooms. I hope you eat mushrooms. Yes, we do, daily. <laughs> Daily. There you go. So we this have a is try? mushrooms a la grec.